Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad as you are full aware and today is one of my favourite sort of videos. I'm recording this on the 2nd of October. I've just got home from work and this is a perfect time to tell you about this or last month's box for Little Miss So and So. So for me it's this month's box but I, um, I selected it last month. So, as you're aware by now, and welcome if you're new to my channel, but hello if you've been here all along. I am an ambassador for Little Miss So-and-So, and every month I kindly get given, in exchange for a review, um, a subscription box from Little Miss So-and-So. Little Miss So-and-So is based here in East Sussex, and it's literally 15 to 20 minutes from my house, which is an absolute joy. Um, I literally drive past this if I choose to drive that way home. Um, I don't, I go a different way, but it's really local to me. I am very passionate about this brand, and and Nicola, the owner of Little Miss So-and-So, has the most wonderful array of subscription services. She is predominantly a subscription service um, business, and so you can um, do this fabulous all set to sew, and basically you get to choose a pattern, you get to choose a woven or a stretch pattern, you get to choose it so you know what you're going to be choosing, you then get to choose the fabric, so if you've chosen the stretch um, pattern you choose a stretch fabric and, and like, likewise with the woven. Um, so you're building yourself a wardrobe that you know what you're going to have. Um, it also means that you don't. it takes away the hassle of knowing what to get when you buy a new pattern for example and she generally speaking is choosing the most modern releases of patterns and this month is no exception to that always amazing. She is literally a almost one-man band business. There's some amazing team members, but um, I've been working with Nicola for about six months, and I think there's about three people in the team, maybe four. So it's a really small team, lovely and local, and utterly cherish their customers. And I see that in person every week when I'm there, because um, I do assisted sewing with, um, with uh, or for Nicola, um, and with six ladies that come and do assisted sewing. And we utterly cherish every moment with all the customers, which is lovely. So each month you get an email on the first of the month. So I'm filming this on the second. I just collected my box actually on Saturday didn't have time to film over the weekend and ironically therefore yesterday I received the email about this month's one which I'll get at the end of the month so it's all go and I love that um, it's, it's just a continuous cycle of lovely loveliness and something to look forward to every month so I'll put in the video just next to me here of what that process looks like that lovely email that comes through and says it's time to choose you're all set to sew choice I then filter mine by um, the pattern first because I'm so eager to see what the patterns are. Um, and as you'll see as the pictures come up here, um, there's a woven choice, which uh, was the right, um, oh my word's gone out of my head completely. Um, the blouse, hang on a sec, sorry about that, my head completely fallen off. Just, does that happen to you too? Sorry about that. Um, so I, um, the choices last month were, as it will say in here, the Regalia Brows by Soho 7, which is just a lovely, um, it's got a, like a, a, a small frill on the top um, and a number of options um, around the arms and the length of the product, which I really look forward to um, getting to know more of. Or there was a Flow and Patterns um, Pattern 2, which is the stretch choice and that was a pair of leggings. I think they were called Joy Run. Um, I think that's right. And you'll see that um, in the email that's coming up next to me. So I didn't hesitate on this. Um, I just didn't because the blouse is absolutely what I'm looking for at the moment. I love the styling of this. Um, and the choice of woven patterns also was really lovely. So um, Spoiler alert there, that is what I've gone for, and so I'm going to show you the unboxing of it. And then, as with, it, with all months, I'm going to take you through a little bit of the sewing journey, um, talk to you about my experience of what it was like to sew this pattern. So stay tuned for um, a series of films that I haven't made yet, because I've just received the box. But I'll show you how I cut out um, 
uh, and I'll show you a little bit of the sewing process and any moments I'm having across the way. That is my intention. So um, I didn't go for the stretch, um, the stretch choice, the the leggings, because actually I don't wear leggings a great deal other than running, um, or maybe I will in the depths of winter. But I've got lots of pairs of leggings already, and I just love the star line of the blouse. So this is how your box comes. Obviously, yours would have an address on the front, but I save on postage by collecting in person. Excuse the rustling a second. It always comes beautifully packed like this, um, which is amazing. And don't forget, um, not only do you get the, um, the pattern, the fabric, the notions, you also get a little haberdashery gift. Look how beautifully wrapped that is. It's absolutely lovely. And in order to save on paper, you actually get sent a link to a Dropbox for the instructions. So there'll be a printed pattern here for the pattern itself, and then you get a, a, a lot. A, drop, a link to a Dropbox for the instructions and also the pattern will be there as well should you need it. So let's have a quick bit of rustling going on here, exciting times. Such a lovely selection of fabrics to choose from always each month and then you get to be able to you know, know what sort of colour palette you're going for and I've got a bit of a story with my choice this month as well. Oh this is cute, look how lovely this is, look we've got a lovely little parcel here I hope you can see that okay so let's have a look so it's beautifully wrapped up here so we've got to to our all set to sew members the woven choice as we move into autumn and the unpredictably either an Indian summer or full-on gales and storms we thought you would offer a pattern we would offer you a pattern that can be teamed with skirts or shorts <laughs> with jeans and trousers layered with knit um, sounds like a great plan the Sew House 7 Regalia blouse has ver a variety of options. Choose from a stand-up or high collar um, and choose a, a loose and flowy cropped version to wear with high waist or a longer version with optional waist tie. It can be all tucked in or out, which is lovely. With front and back yokes, you can even have a play around with colour blocking. Great. Um, yes, fantastic. And then there's some... Um, there's actually some instructions there over a certain type of Merchant and Mills fabric, which, um, as you'll see in a moment, um, isn't applicable to me. And then um, we've got basically a QR code here to take you to the files, and I've also been sent a link to the Dropbox, which is fantastic. So, all oh, the little gift this month. Oh, that's really cute. Look at that lovely card. Little green stitches. You are really great, as in cotton reel. Oh, that's so cute. Um, now, a lot of us have a lot of sewing friends in the world, um, so that will go down really well with a sewing friend. Or another friend who knows how manically passionate I am about dressmaking, so I think they would find that really sweet. In case you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I have got a me-made top on today. This is actually the top half of the Tilly and the Buttons Bettine dress. It literally is a car a hack. But it's just very straightforward in a white linen and I've just used the top, top half of that dress um, to make a top. Uh, so we've got some interfacing which is forever handy um, and part of the pattern no doubt. And then there's a slight clue um, to my, uh, pat my fabric choice. And this is sort of an, uh, it's actually colour number one. It doesn't look white particularly but I think it probably is although it's sort of slightly creamy white. Let me just pop those down beside me. Um, and then here we are, this is the star of the show. Oh my word, this is lovely. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer and try not to knock everything off. Look at that, that is a cotton lawn choice. Um, and it's got these beautiful umbrellas all over it in the navy blue background, although there's hardly any background visible there. And these lovely red parasols and sort of beige parasols and cream parasols. I love this. Now you know I'm having a little bit a little bit of a love affair with red at the moment. And the story behind this fabric is, is that actually I chose an alternative. I actually chose a really nice black floral fabric. Um, and and then I thought, actually, do you know what? I don't want to go for black. I want to have something with red in it. Um, and I made um, so I've got obviously I've got the Pilar jacket that I'm wearing a lot, which has got reds and blues in it. I also made um, I think it's called the Grace Jacket by Tilia Jupe last year in a beautiful red um, cotton twill. Um, and having just made the Pona Jacket, um, uh, which was my last month's subscription, I'll put a photo of the Pona Jacket in here. 
um, I knew this would go really well with that as well. And although the black would, and the black goes with everything, I actually really wanted something with a more of a red tone. So I actually had made a selection for the other one and then changed it to this. And they kindly, they, they kindly um, have obviously sent me the right one or the, my second choice. Um, and then there you go, there's the AO copy of the pattern as well. So really nice and simple. If you're a tracer, it's on beautiful paper and really easy to see. If you're a cut straight in kind of person, like I am, then you'll be able to just go for it. Um, so that is very exciting. I can't wait to get going on that. So stay tuned for some, some of the sewing process. And then I'll take you through to the reveal at the end, which for you is just a few blinks of the eye. For me, it's actually uh, probably a couple of weeks time or so, um, depending on um, some bits and pieces I've got coming up. So I've got lots of plans. I mean, when do I not? But this month in particular, I have little time and big plans. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hi everyone, so that was me manically cutting out the, well not manic, it actually took me 12 minutes but you'll have seen it much faster time than that. So the regalia blouse, um, the measurements are actually taken from your high, your high bust um, because there is um, a lot of ease because of the gathering across the full bust. So that's just something to bear in mind when you take your measurements. Um, and I'm actually going to be cutting out a size 12 which is pretty much bang on to the size um, of uh, the pattern and for reference I will put my my measurements here so that you know um, where I'm where I'm at with all of that so just as a reminder I'm using this beautiful cotton lawn um, I actually watched the um, regalia sew along um, from sew house 7 there's actually um, a full sew along on there um, and it's a really nice technique actually including some really nice things um, you've got a hem facing so you're not just turning up your um, your sorry on your sleeve a sleeve hem facing so you actually put a band on the inside and then turn it um, to the inside as opposed to just turning up the the hem so I think that's a really nice touch and it's also got a full burrito um, finished yoke on both the front and the back and there's a really good description of how that works so I just got back from work um, really looking forward to getting to stuck in to um, a good few hours worth of sewing and um, prep time now and actually sitting on the chair over there I have got loads to prep. I decided I'm going to spend this afternoon just prepping so I've got the obviously the regalia blouse here and then I'm going to put together the VN dress um, I'm going to put together the next seams, extreme seamstress pattern that I'm making um, and yeah, I think that's I think that's everything I've got in the pile there. Yeah, I think so. So oh, and I think there's another pattern there, but I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, the Stasia dress, I think, and I think that's by so it's oh no, so something or other, I've forgotten. But um, yeah, really looking forward to seeing that because I keep seeing the lovely Angela in her Stasia dress, um, and I 
I've got loads of jersey um, and I just really want to make it. So yeah, so that's that's I'm going to put that pattern together and cut it out for um, a moment when I have some sewing time, um, which over the next couple of weeks is a bit limited. But you know, I'll get some in. Um, just this week, I've finished a beautiful denim skirt. And also, uh, that was from Helper Sew, and also the Viper dress um, from uh, Maison Fauve. So I can't wait to share those with you. But anyway, enough waffling. Let's get some prep done. Hello, hello. So here I am. Oh, trusty machine. I am ready to go. So I am making the regalia blouse today. I've got my computer set up here do, 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 with the instructions um, ready to go, which is quite exciting. So um, I love starting a new project and I have just been sewing up a storm since uh, the last time I was videoing. Um, I finished my Maison Fauve um, Viper dress, actually that's just over here on my, on my mannequin. Um, I've made the dress and the poncho that I'm wearing now and this is a new look pattern which I'll talk about in a future video I imagine. So it's just sewing non-stop and lots of you kindly are like, oh, can't believe you're so prolific. But yeah, so the first step of the regalia brows is to stay stitch the neckline on um, uh, both the front and the back yoke. There is actually an amazing sew along on the um, Sew House 7 um, YouTube channel so you could easily follow along with that but I'm going to um, do some sewing and I'll catch up with some snippets along the way. new little gadget in my sewing room. This is my new sort of um, craft iron. I um, wanted to see if it would, what it would be like in terms of maybe using less energy as a as a big iron. So I have to report back because um, <laughs> it's tiny so it takes a little bit of getting used to I think. But anyway, just ironing on there, the interfacing around the neck. I've actually used a hemming tape um, and not the not the pieces that they recommend, but that's okay. Right, let's see how we go. So far, this little iron has been a, a ninja gadget, actually. And it turned on the wrong settings initially, so it wasn't working, but actually, Working an absolute treat. So that's nice. I see loads of steam coming out of it. So, good stuff. So, so far I've done the collar. This is just the um, back ne neck ties here. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I just shot, thought I'd show you where I'm at. So I just laid this on top of my mannequin. It's a really unusual construction, actually. So you make the collar first, and then um, sort of right sides together, or interfaced, base that, so that it's sort of basically one piece. And then you've got this, um, this is a double-faced yoke here, which I can't seem to, hang on, can't seem to open out for you. Um, yeah, so you've got two yokes at the front, and then uh, two yokes at the back, same same principle, two layers here. Um, and then what you do is you connect the collar to one of the facings, uh, which is fine, and then you uh, effectively flip it so that the collar is facing upright, and then put the other um, yoke down over the top, and then sew around the edges right sides together, and that effectively sandwiches um, the collar between the two face the, the two yokes, which is really nice. The tie instruction I did not understand at all. Got the principle that need to be on the inside, but when I'd sewn the two things right side together, this was on the inside, not the outside, so I had to unstitch that and poke it back through. I'm assuming that that is right actually um, it looks right but doesn't necessarily mean that then the next stage that I have just jumped the gun on that but I think that's how it needs to work out and that looks super pretty I'm really pleased with that um, 
yeah, it's really coming together. It's it's pretty cute. These ties are nice and long, um, so they're going to look really nice when tied, I think. So, yeah, it's uh, love this fabric. Such nice colours. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so this stage just looks like a sort of a, a bundle of mess, really, or a big sort of fabric croissant. But this is the classic burrito, and um, it's always a bit of a... A head scratcher but so satisfying um, when when you get it right and really the top tip here is it's always the right side to the right side and generally speaking if you've got your notches matching up then you've actually put it the right way around um, if you don't have notches that are matching then you haven't done it right is my top tip so but it's so satisfying I'll show you in a second I also wanted to show you my sewing companion this is my gorgeous Lara, and I'm a lump in my throat right now. She's not very well, so um, we've got to take her to the vet right um, this evening. And um, oh my word, she's just suddenly gone a little doolally. So we're hoping it's something like an infection or something. But she's 13. She's been our sole companion for every single one of those days. So I hope she's going to be okay. Um, but. Yeah, she's definitely not very well right now, and she's always loved coming upstairs. She sleeps on the bed, she has complete roam of the house. But today, this has taken most of the day for her to even remember where upstairs is, and um, it was an absolute joy to see her come in here. Sorry, too much detail for my sewing, but um, yeah. Love you, Lara. Okay, another small tip for my um, burrito method here. You can see the stitching line here, so this is the burrito. You can see it's all still sort of connected together here. If you sew over your stitching line, then um, you're, well, you won't be taking anything else into the seam allowance. And just as you're sewing, just make sure you're, you're not you know, sandwiching, haven't picked up anything else in, in the mix of it all. Um, it's very satisfying, I promise you. Yep. The burrito method is a thing of beauty. So this is the right side, and this is the wrong side. For a moment, I had <laughs> a concern that I put them on the wrong way round. That's my iron making sounds. But you see how it leaves? That's the front, and that's the back. Leaves it lovely and clean on both sides. It's a work of genius. Let me just share with you how lovely this finish is. So this is the sleeve. And you basically you've got a sleeve cuff um, that you put right sides together, so that's the raw edge of the bottom of the sleeve. You then apply a cuff right sides together, and you fold it over a one centimetre, and you fold that to the inside, and that's how you finish your sleeve. So on the outside, sorry about the shadow, on the outside it's going to look like that. On the inside it'll be beautifully stitched here. Oh, that is such a lovely detail. Oh. Here we are. So, by the powers of YouTube, I know I say that every month, ta-da! Here is the finished regalia blouse by Sew House 7. I hope you've enjoyed some of the clips I've put in. Um, I hope I've remembered to put some footage in. Um, I just get lost in a world of sewing um, and completely forget that I'm meant to be sharing my experience with you on YouTube. So that's helpful, isn't it, Cara? But what do I, ha what do I have to say about the regalia blouse? Actually, I really love it. Um, I know that having gathering at the front here for a busty lady is not necessarily a brilliant um, idea. Uh, and when I've put this on, I am reminded hugely of the Marnie blouse, I have to say. Um, it is incredibly similar. But the fit for me on this is much nicer than the Marnie. But having said that, you could easily extend this down into a Marnie style dress. There are some lovely touches on this blouse. One of my absolute favourite is that there is a, um, a, a cuff facing. So um, you don't actually hem the cuff. It's actually got a facing that does that for you. I think that's beautiful. The finish on the inside is as good as it is on the outside because you've got a beautifully finished burrito um, method yoke on the front and the back. And I think that's lovely. Um, I really like the way they sandwich the collar in between the two yokes. A little bit of head scratching. I actually did not understand the picture for that. Um, so I used my initiative on and my experience, I guess, 
on how to do that bit but there is a really good sew along i suppose yeah this bit uh if i made it again um which i think i will actually because i do really like it i think i would probably leave the flat this bit here flat and put the gathers at the sides or something like that so that i don't get this scoop in the middle where my boobs are or maybe i wouldn't i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking it it is it's quite cropped um you'll see them in the pictures um so that's my mid uh tummy i suppose um but you could alter that i just did it exactly to the instructions and i quite like it i think it's actually quite flattering because i have got a bit of a mum tum um and because it's a sort of trapeze style shape top um it actually then makes your legs and thigh you know your sort of middle bit if you like look a lot smaller because you've got the, the sort of the, the the style of it i will obviously put some pictures up here and you can see that i love this fabric i forget how amazing cotton lawn is to work with just dreamy really does exactly what it's told to do which is really nice and i don't normally go for high necks although this isn't that high is it and it doesn't feel restricting in any way it's a really nice touch to have the um the, the big bow at the back which again you'll see in the, in the photos here all in all a very very enjoyable sew um yeah really really enjoyed it um and i i like the fact that the sleeves aren't too um dramatic but there's definitely some structure there and in the instructions you can actually add sort of shoulder what do they call it shoulder poof i think it is which is made of tulle which would which would make this sit um more sort of victoriana style i suppose um so yeah little miss so and so nailed it again um obviously this whole kit came from as part of my subscription for their all set to sew um so special which is their subscription service and please don't forget little miss so and so have loads of different set types of subscriptions available they have actually just launched a brand new one which is more sort of craft based so a project um based uh, article i confess i don't know all of the details but head over to the website because nicola is so innovative she is always creating something new and every week there is a different um one-off box if you like uh, it's not one-off but an available box which is called they're all set to sew and you can just purchase it at a discounted price so for example this week i believe it was the new jacket um, from tilly and the buttons and some really beautifully created um uh, you know fabric and so on to go with that and don't forget you get the pattern the fabric and all the notions that you would need in that and generally speaking Nicola has made one up so you can actually see um, I don't know, a real life person although obviously you can follow the hashtag for for the particular pattern as well so really enjoyed that um, yeah I, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that and I love the colors in this there's always such an amazing array of fabrics to choose from with little miss sewing so and the joy of that is that you get to choose the fabric and you get to choose the pattern too so no surprises here and therefore you're like less likely to be wanting to de-stash your fabric choice later in the future maybe you will maybe we won't I don't know but I see that all the time with the current subscription services where people sadly are um, unaware of what they're going to get it turns out it might not be something that they um, would have chosen themselves and then later down the line they decide to de-stash it which obviously is their choice to do but when you get to choose yours in the first place then i'm guessing there's less ch less chance of that so i hope you enjoyed this um this little video um please do give me a thumbs up um and i'd love to hear from you in the comments so please wherever where, wherever you are in the world drop me a comment because i respond to every comment and whilst you're there if you haven't already please do subscribe because i love to know you're there and my little channel is slowly slowly growing which is very exciting because i want the whole world to be part of my uh, enjoyment of sewing so stay so stay safe and well everyone easier to say um or to do than to say it would seem but uh, stay safe and i look forward to catching up with you next time bye